His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the board chairman of the Sunni endowment, Sheikh Salman bin Isa Al Khalifa, in which he expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his constant support to the Sunni endowments. He also presented His Majesty with a number of books published by the Sunni endowments. His Majesty hailed the efforts of the Sunni endowments in taking care of mosques and for its role in preparing imams and preachers who helped to spread the values of unity and tolerance within the Bahraini society. His Majesty also noted the efforts to develop endowments in the kingdom. After the meeting, Sheikh Salman bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed his appreciation of his meeting with the king. The board chairman of the Sunni endowments reviewed the board's achievements that contribute to the national economy. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the President of the International Equestrian Federation, the FEI, in Mar Davos and his accompanying delegation in the presence of His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for charity works and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa and the first Vice President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The FEI President presented His Majesty the King with the FEI Leaders Medal, the first medal to be awarded by the FEI since its establishment in recognition of His Majesty's continued support for improving equestrianism and supporting the efforts of the FEI in this field. His Majesty the King welcomed the FEI President and thanked him for the medal, which reflects the strong cooperation between them. He praised Mr. DeVos's efforts to stage various extremely successful championships, which have served to develop the sport. His Majesty King Hamin affirmed Bahrain's achievements in equestrian sports at regional and international levels through its participation in various championships, which have helped to enhance and develop equestrian sports in Bahrain. His Majesty noted that Bahrain owns the best horse stables registered with the World Arabian Horse Organization, WAHO, and said that the equestrian sport is now considered part of Bahrain's cultural heritage. He stressed the importance of enhancing cooperation with the FEI to achieve further progress in this field and highlighted the sport's role in strengthening international relationships and wished the FEI president further success. The FEI president expressed appreciation for His Majesty's welcome, uh, commending Bahrain's achievements in ver winning various regional and international championships. He praised Bahrain's equestrian heritage and expressed the FEI's keenness to enhance cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace today a number of senior royal family members, senior officials, and businessmen who congratulated the Prime Minister on the success of his recent medical checkups. The Prime Minister hailed the noble sentiments of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa and the people during his recent medical indis indisposition, saying that their support confirms the strong cohesion between the people and the leadership. He said the development process was continuing to meet the needs and aspirations of the people for a more prosperous future. He confirmed the importance of redoubling efforts to preserve Bahrain's achievements and called on everyone to exert greater efforts to build on the kingdom's development and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride in the continuous honouring of Bahrainis regionally and internationally, expressing respect and pride in them. He said the kingdom continues to support loyal Bahrainis who are working for the success of the nation and the people, stressing that awareness of the challenges facing the region was vital to uniting efforts and protecting the homeland security and stability.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace today the Thai Princess and businesswoman Raja Darasri Jan Kura, who is currently on a visit to the kingdom. The meeting discussed the excellent relations between Bahrain and Thailand and ways of consolidating them. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said the visit reflects the deep-rooted friendly relations between the two countries. He congratulated Thailand and its people on the anniversary of their National Day and the 88th birthday of the Thai monarch, His Majesty King Bumbibol Adulya Day. He also wished Thailand and its people continued progress and prosperity and asked the Thai princess to convey his greetings to the Thai monarch, marking the occasion. The Prime Minister confirmed the strength of bilateral relations, supported by a shared vision of enhancing cooperation in all fields to serve the best interests of the people. His Royal Highness commended the excellent relations and joint cooperation, especially in the economic, investment and commercial sectors. He said the Kingdom of Bahrain pays great attention to encouraging the private sector to take part in joint projects and investments to benefit both countries' economies. For her part, the Thai princess praised the deep-rooted relations between the two countries thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's keenness to enhance friendship. She confirmed Thailand's pride and respect for the bilateral relations, highlighting the kingdom's broad development and wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Gudabir Palace the editor in chief and publisher of the diplomatic review and society magazine, Gloria Starkins, who presented His Royal Highness with a special edition of the magazine for receiving four awards from the United Nations. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the Kingdom's development march, which has gained international recognition. He also affirmed Bahrain's support for all efforts aimed at combating terrorism. During the meeting, His Royal Highness noted the importance of enhancing cooperation within the international community in order to achieve the best for the future of humanity. His Royal Highness also stressed the importance of peace and stability to achieve the aims and aspirations of people. For her part, Ms. Darkins expressed her congratulations to His Royal Highness for receiving the ICT in Sustainable Development Award from the ITU and praised His Royal Highness's major role in the Kingdom's development at various levels. The editor-in-chief commended Bahrain's freedom of religion and highlighted the efforts of Bahrain's government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, in achieving development in various fields. The Diplomatic Review and Society magazine published a special edition promoting His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's remarkable efforts in the development of the Kingdom. The magazine highlighted Bahrain's sustainable development achievements and noted His Royal Highness's receipt of the International Telecommunication Award to become the first Arab Prime Minister to be honoured by the ITU. Statistics show that the Kingdom has achieved 100% of its primary education goals and has established itself as the top-ranking Arab country in exam results in maths and science. The magazine also noted that Bahrain has been ranked 13th internationally for economic freedom by the Heritage Organization and 8th by the Fraser Institute. The magazine notes Bahrain's keenness to achieve its post-2015 sustainable development goals in accordance with His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision of providing all the needs and requirements of every Bahraini citizen. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, chaired the Council's weekly meeting in which it approved a report by the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee on preventing the exploitation of religious platforms for promoting political ideas. The Council then approved a suggestion on the rehabilitation of people with special needs. The Council also approved a report by the Committee for Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security on the agreement between Bahrain and Tajikistan to avoid double taxation. The meeting discussed a report by the same committee on amending some law provisions of the Penal Code.
at the invitation of His Majesty the King's representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the President of the International Equestrian Federation, the FEI, in Mar Davos, and his accompanying delegation arrived in the Kingdom. Mr. DeVos was received by the President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the Head of Group 7, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and members of Brief. Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid conveyed the greetings of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid to the FEI President and hailed the strong relationship between Brief and the FEI. Mr. DeVos expressed appreciation for His Highness Sheikh Nasser's invitation and praised His Majesty the King's support for the equestrian sport. He said his visit would enhance cooperation and achieve further progress internationally. During the visit, the FEI president will meet a number of officials and will also discuss with His Highness Sheikh Nasser issues regarding equestrian sport and the steps taken by brief to improve this sport. A delegation from Bahrain is participating in the parliamentary meeting alongside the Climate Change Conference in Paris, comprising Shura members Dr. Mohamed Ali and Zahwa al Kawari. The event, organised by the Interparliamentary Union, is discussing a plan to keep up with the new Climate Change Convention. For more details about the meeting, we are now joined by Bahrain's delegation member, Zahwa al Kawari. Good evening, Ms. al Kawari. Good evening to you, dear. Can you tell us about the final document from the meeting? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, the impact, as you know, the impact of a climate change is felt through the world and its uh, global pro uh, problem. Therefore, the adopted document, which will be attached to the final act of the Paris com uh, Conference, will highlight the main concern, the general concern of the climate change. Uh, mainly the common uh, but uh, differentiate uh, responsibilities and all the uh, issues that was covered in the previous uh, agreement as well. Yes. And what is the role of parliaments in the new climate change convention? Uh, in case of agreement, uh, the, as, as they approved or adopted the agreement, then as a legislator, we have to have our own national legislation. In addition to that, the, the implementation that need to have a certain budget. So the role of the parliamentarians is to uh, uh, develop the legislation as well as locate a certain budget to implement all these requirements. Now, the GCC um, is a part of the world that is particularly susceptible to climate change. It's a, yeah. a fossil uh, fuel producing area and also rising temperatures and rising sea levels. What mm. um, effect do you think that the uh, climate change uh, convention can have for this part of the world? Uh, actually, this, this, that's what we are working on, that uh, we are very, a vulnerable, vulnerable uh, area of the climate change. Therefore, we need an act, our uh, implementation of all the world that need to coll collectively to do an action which is more precise in order to uh, achieve the global requirement for uh, reduce the impact of a climate change issue. Well, Zahwa Al Kawari, thank you so much for joining us, and we wish you all the f wish you all the best because it's a very important thing, and all of us and our future generations will be grateful for to to you in the future. Good evening and welcome to Business News on Bahrain TV. Bahrain TV hosted an investor conference focused on seeding initiatives in the ICT sector, which attracted some of the biggest names from the U.S. as part of a regional tour. Dylan Porter brings us more in this report.
The pre-money MENA Investor Conference held today at the Four Seasons Bahrain Bay was organized as part of a regional tour currently being taken by tech innovators and investors from Silicon Valley in the United States called Geeks on a Plane. The event has attracted around 150 accredited investors, executives and entrepreneurs from both the United States and the Kingdom looking for opportunities to learn about each other, gain insight into emerging trends and seed promising new ventures on both sides. The tour and conference was held with the support of Bahrain's Economic Development Board and Microsoft and was organized by 500 Startups, a highly regarded Silicon Valley-based global investment firm that brings with it the highest caliber speakers and investors. Uh, we've met some really amazing entrepreneurs here. We've met some great uh, people that are opening doors for economic opportunity. Um, there's just a lot that's really happening here in terms of business growth uh, and investing and it's a great opportunity. It's definitely growing. I mean, I think you're seeing huge amounts of adoption in smartphones uh, in the population. I think there's an uh, incredible hunger and desire for content, for services, for applications. Uh, obviously, much more substantial growth in emerging markets and in the MENA region than maybe in the U.S. and Western Europe. Uh, so I think if we're looking forward, you know, three, four, five years, where is that growth going to be coming from? It's, it's here in the Middle East. Investing in the technology sector is becoming increasingly attractive as traditional avenues for investment such as stocks and real estate lose some of their appeal and because the sector holds promise for untold expansion and diversification. One of the things that's great about investing in tech is you establish one market and a thousand markets spawn from it. Right, and so it's, you know, it's the gift that keeps on giving. So, okay, there's a critical mass of smartphones, now we can have Uber. Right now we can have you know anything that can do location on demands you know to have these services right and that might be human services and I've heard that Bahrain there's all of this human capital that's here okay let's think about how to take advantage of that with all the platforms that are out there are there things again naturally aligned with what's in this ecosystem here. As Bahrain and the rest of the region grows more attractive to outside investors, it is hoped that local investors, who once might have seeded ventures overseas, will instead look to entrepreneurs and initiatives closer to home. I think that investors are going to be encouraged. If we can see people coming in from the US and Europe and beginning to say this area is interesting and we think there are interesting entrepreneurs and we're willing to raise funds to invest in them, then that must tell us something. That must tell us that there's opportunity here and what better than the businessmen and the investors who are familiar with this area to actually participate as well. So we're hopeful that I certainly see enough entrepreneurs in the region. I think there are, there are thirsty for not only capital, but mentorship and support. And our announcement last week of uh, the venture with C5 and um, Amazon Web Services is only one of hopefully many where we can have not only the capital, but also this idea of an accelerator and an incubator that teaches them about business, about build, taking their idea and making it commercial. Geeks on a Plane might sound fun and lighthearted, and indeed it is, but the individuals gathered here at the pre-money conference are talking serious business, underscoring the trends and emerging technologies that will be shaping our future. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. The Bahrain Oil Share Index closed today at 1,226.87 points, a marginal decrease of 0 0.30 points below last year's end closing. The fall was in the investment sector, which also saw the majority of investors trading. The sector represented 55% of the total shares traded. 15 equity transactions took place with a volume of 336,358 shares worth 64,318 Bahraini dinars. A very good evening and welcome to the sports news on Bahrain Television. Starting with the local sports updates where His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa mixed martial arts team KHK MMA will be participating in the World Series of Fighting MMA Championship in Las Vegas, Nevada on Friday, December 11th. The participation will contribute in boosting the kingdom's presence and position on the sports calendar and pave suitable atmospheres for young Bahraini MMA fighters.